UAVs are unmanned aerial vehicles. They're essentially an air vehicle where you do not have a person in it. Uh, it may be actively flown from the ground or have a computer system on board that allows it to fly autonomously. Once you remove the pilot from the seat, you no longer have to size the aircraft to carry the pilot. You can simply size it to carry whatever it is you're interested in carrying. And if that's a small camera system, the aircraft can be very small. Which is part of the advantage of it. You could put it in the back of a pickup truck or back of a car. No one really dreamed that the individual farmer might actually be able to own his own, uh, you know, simple camera system that can be programmed to fly over his crops weekly, even daily, at very low cost and collect imagery of very high quality and use it to manage his crops. Well, we're using these UAVs to take aerial uh, digital photography of these plots and, uh, and then translate that information back to the producer and identify what's the health of their crop. All right, launching. Is there water, uh, water deficiencies? Is there nitrogen deficiencies, pest damage? And by doing that, that saves farmers from having to actually walk through that field and individually inspect every plant. Well, farmers have always been quick to adopt new technologies with these new systems that we're seeing from uh, guided systems technologies. We're hopeful it's going to provide tremendous advantage for uh, producers out in the field. If you catch things early enough, it allows you to, for example, use a much smaller quantity of fertilizer, much smaller quantity of pesticide or fungicide. So it allows the farmer to improve his bottom line. So while we have great knowledge of the aerospace component of this project, we had no um, contact or interaction with the agricultural community, in particular the, the research community in the university system in Georgia. The Centers of Innovation has been instrumental in pulling all of these diverse components together to create the opportunity to demonstrate the potential of the technologies. But I think the most, most valuable thing are the connections they help you make. We're very excited about this, this partnership between the Center of Innovation for Agribusiness and the Center of Innovation for Aerospace in working together. We're seeing uh, in Japan, they already use UAVs to uh, spray their fields. South America is looking at this, Europe is looking at this. We want to be a leader in all those areas in terms of we want to be able to manufacture these vehicles here, but we also want to be the go-to place for people to come to learn how to operate these vehicles, the training of it. We want to have companies in Georgia be the leaders in operating these vehicles and, and providing those services, not just in Georgia, but throughout the Southeast, the nation, and maybe even internationally. Without the center, I think we, we simply uh, wouldn't really know where to begin. <laughs>